PeteTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Pete's Tools, how are we all going today? Another beautiful day here in the South Pacific. It's really, really hot here today, I might go swimming with the sharks later. Ha <laughs> ha, see if I can get one to bite me. Hey, uh, anyway guys, I was up early this morning, uh, before I went to work I thought I'd just do a little bit of maintenance on one of my uh, dumpster skips. Turned the old welder on, and it went like this. You hear it start guys, no problem at all, I usually use CO2. So I pulled the trigger. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but there's no gas clicking on or off. So I went up top here guys, I turned the gas on, you hear it start, pull the trigger. Still no bloody gas. Uh, that's all I need when I'm really busy on a day like today. Anyway guys, I thought I'd do a video and I'll pull it to bits and we'll have a look and see if we can fix today. Anyway guys, same as usual, you like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachtools.com and let's rip this whole thing to bits and see what we can see. Yeah! So guys, my wire goes on this side, so I reckon the electronics must be on this side because um, that's the 15kg roll of wire, so it's a huge roll of wire, so there's not enough room for the guts. So we'll pull this side to bits and have a look, guys. Just bear with me, guys. Like I say, guys, it's a really hot day here today. The last thing you need is your welder to crap out when you're really busy. But anyway, that's life. Could be worse. Could be swimming with the sharks. <laughs> Alright, Pete, what have we got? Ooh, lots of gizmos looking in there. So guys, I hope you can see in here alright. Um, yeah, like I say, when I pull the trigger on my torch here... Like I say, when I pull the trigger on the torch here, I'm not getting any gas. Um, the gas is turned on. It's turned on full. I'm not getting any gas. All you're hearing is the motor whirring over there. You should be hearing a click, click, and feel the gas coming out of here. But there's absolutely nothing coming out of there. And of course, I can't weld gas shielded wire without bloody gas. So anyway, like I said, that's all you need on a busy day. So anyway, let's have a look and see what we've got. My first suggestion, guys, is not do what I'm doing here, have it running and have your hands in there unless you know what voltage you've got. Um, we're 240 volt here, and it looks like to me that all the heavy voltage is down the bottom here. Like there's a huge coil down here, and there's a whole lot of resistors and that sort of crap. And I think it gets to the smaller voltage up here. Um, but first of all, what we've got to do is check that that actual circuitry for the gas solenoid here. Can you see the gas solenoid here? There's a little gas solenoid, the gas pipe comes out here, if you can see that, comes out here of the gas bottle down here into this hose here, you can hear it leaking out now when I pull it, into this hose here, it goes through this little solenoid here and when you pull the trigger on your MIG torch like that, it opens the solenoid and it allows the gas to come through right up to the torch right up here. So we've got an issue either with the solenoid or we've got an issue with the circuitry running the solenoid. So what I do guys is first of all make sure that the voltage on the solenoid is, is low voltage and this one here is 24 volt. So I know I'm not going to electrocute myself. And what I would do is go to the most obvious thing first. So if I trace this wire here, can you see this wire here guys? Goes from that little solenoid up here into this plug here. So what I need to do is check whether it's the solenoid or check whether it's the electronics that are running the solenoid. If it's the electronics I can't fix it but if it's the solenoid I can. So what I'll do is I'll grab a multimeter and I'll just check this plug here and pull the trigger at the same time, see if we've got any voltage. So I've got my multimeter here guys, and what I'll do is, just because I'm not 100% sure what voltage, I'm going to put it on 500 volts, just in case, so we don't get zapped. Because the last thing you want to do is get zapped, you know what I mean? So we're going to put it on 500 volts. I know the whole machine is 240, but I'm pretty sure this is, this is about 24, the top end of it. But just to be sure, so we've got it on 500 volts. Now, I'm not going to unplug this plug, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick one prong in, in here and another prong underneath, because it's only got two wires in it. Prong underneath like that. And it doesn't matter which way around they go, because this is just a little magnetic valve in here. And when this gets energised, it just pulls up a little plunger and it's just a magnet, so it doesn't matter if it's positive or negative. It'll just tell us whether there's voltage there. 
So if I turn this on and I pull the trigger on my gun and we actually get voltage coming out here onto the meter, then I know it's this solenoid valve is, is crook and it's not the circuitry running the solenoid valve because if, the, if it was the circuitry running the solenoid valve and I pull the trigger and we don't get voltage coming out of here, that means that there's something in the circuitry is wrong. So like I say, I can't fix that circuitry, but I can sure as hell can replace the solenoid valve. So let's hope that it's just the solenoid, guys. Anyway, stop wobbling, Pete, and turn it on. So there we go. We've got it going. Pull the trigger, Pete, see what happens. Look at that. yee Grandma. 28 volts. yee Well, that just saved me a lot of drama. <laughs> So anyway, so what's that telling us now, guys? That's telling us that the solenoid valve here is buggered and it's not the circuitry, which just saved me a whole heap of money. So what we're going to do now, guys, yee-haw, is just replace this little solenoid valve. And I'm having a good day now, yee-haw. So what I've done, guys, is I had to go down to the welding supply shop and buy one of these little solenoids. A lot cheaper to get them online, but I just don't have time. So this cost me about 43 bucks. I think you can get them online for about 20 bucks and 19 bucks or something. But anyway, you got to do what you got to do. So anyway, we'll whip it out and we'll put the new one in and see if we can actually weld, eh? Yee-haw, Grandma! So as I said before, guys, there's this little hose that runs up here, goes all the way out to the front, and anywhere the Euro connector fits into your torch, that's where the hose continues on and it comes out your nozzle. So what we want to do is disconnect this hose for a start, and it is already loose. It's as loose as a goose, Pete. And then follow this wire up and unplug it. Make sure you unplug your machine before you do this. I don't actually suggest you do this full stop because I just do it because I'm an idiot. But you should take it to the shop, maybe. <laughs> and uh, the little solenoid thing here. So if we have a look around the back, guys, we'll see where the back's mounted. You see the back was mounted in here, guys. So what we'll do is we'll just take the hose off. There's, you hear the remainder of the gas coming out of there, guys. So we'll just take the hose off. This is loose. This will undo this. It's just a retaining nut for the old valve. So we'll undo them like that and take the old valve out. And here's our old valve here. And I think it might be a little bit different to our new valve. Our new valve was this one here, guys. So same voltage, 24 volt DC, but it has a little bit different fitting on it. So what we'll do, guys, is we'll just stick the new one back in. So we'll take the, the locking nut off the new one. This is quite easy to do, guys. Just make sure you don't electrocute yourself. Put the new locking nut on. Like so, make sure it's a little bit centered, and we'll just tweak them up a little bit. And what we'll do, guys, is we'll just do them up a little bit with the old crescent, just like so, nice and tight there. Um, see if our hose will fit on them. I might have to put a hose clip on that later, but it'll do for a test. Yep, put that hose on like that. Beautiful, Pete. Beautiful. Now, if you see here, guys, this hose here. It's got a different fitting on it here. I don't know if you can see that fitting. It's got a little bit different fitting on it than this that come with the valve. See this one here is a little bit different to that. So what we'll try and do, if I can't get this one to fit on there, I'll just put a hose clip on it. Sometimes guys, if I'm just testing it or I don't have any hose clips handy, I'll just use these plastic zip ties. I mean, they're as good as any. There's virtually no pressure on this anyway, you know. So I'll just put that on to test it, just so we don't blow half a bottle of gas. When I'm testing it, cut them off. Beautiful, Pete. Cool. That's actually got that hot, as you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's actually, you can see the thread through the plastic. So it's actually basically screwed itself into the plastic. So that's all good. Right, you see this generic one here hasn't got a plug on it, guys. And I don't suppose they could be a plug because there's that many different varieties of bloody plugs that you're going to need anyway. So what we do is we just cut the plug off this one. Just give yourself long enough to join it up again. So it's left with the plug. There's no positive or negative on this. Like I say, it's just a little electromagnet valve. So we'll just... Now this should be uh, soldered and use that shrink wrap stuff on it, but I don't have any. So I'm just going to use tape. So guys, I've got my two new wires, the two old wires on the plug. I'm just going to join them together. Like I said, they should be soldered and that, but I'm just going to join them together and tape them up. We'll grab the other one, Pete. Put them together like so. And then I just run some tape around the both of them. Alright. Just like that, guys. It looks ugly, but it'll do the trick. And then feed it up through to get it out of the way of all the other junk. Feed it up through there. And then just plug them back into the original socket. Clip. 
And then we shall see what we shall see, guys. Yeah! Kick it in the guts and see if it actually works, Pete. All right, we should be able to hear a hiss. Hear it? Psst. Can feel it coming out of there, guys. So far, so good. Yeah! Let's see if the sucker will weld now, eh? <laughs> Can you see that now, guys? When I pull the trigger, you watch this. The load will come up. See if we've got gas. Yeah! Yeah, Grandma. Let's see if we can make the sucker weld. So guys, does my old MIG welder live to fight another day? Well, let's have a look. Can I weld with gas? Yeah! Don't you just love it when a plan comes together, guys? Yeah! So guys, that saved Pete a couple of hundred bucks being able to do it myself. Uh, just a cheap little gas valve like this, and we've got them back going again. Yeah, for another few years, I hope. Anyway, guys, same as usual, like the video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment, come say good day at peachtools.com, and we'll see you next time, eh? And just remember, know what voltage you're dealing with before you start doing what I'm doing, otherwise you'll go, and I'll electrocute yourself, guys. See you next time. Peachtools.com. Peach